Welcome back guys to Insert Controller here. My name is Eric Heckman and for my latest project, I built a fully motion controlled pickaxe for the video game Minecraft. The controller allows you to look around, mine, and place blocks all with the simple movement of your arm. And I've decided to give this controller away to a random subscriber. So stick around to the end of the video to learn how you can win. The base of this project is a toy Minecraft pickaxe that I got from Target. As soon as I saw the toy, I knew it would make for a great controller. The electronics that make this all possible is a microcontroller, a motion sensor, and three buttons. I'll explain how everything works in a moment. To house the electronics, I designed a simple case using Fusion 360 and manufactured it on my newly built 3D printer. I did some light sanding to remove any printer imperfections. I then finished it off with some primer filler to give it a clean finish and brown spray paint to match the handle of the pickaxe. Overall, I think the final results look great. The controller is comfortable to use and the printed parts are very durable. I could see this being a real product, so Microsoft, my DMs are open. And if you would like more information on how to start building your own controllers, check out my website, insertcontrollerhere.com and our community discord link below. Now it's time to explain how the controller works. The pickaxe functions identically to a mouse. The controller is constantly reading the movement from the pickaxe and sends these values to your computer to move the mouse cursor. Simply move your arm in any direction to look around in game. In addition to the motion sensor, the controller features three buttons, blue, green, and red. All three buttons disable the mouse movement, but serve a different function. The middle green button is the most basic. It simply stops all mouse movements. This allows you to move the pickaxe controller without moving in game. It's a very useful feature to help you from getting turned around. Next is the red button on the left. Just like the green button, it stops all mouse movements. However, if you swing the pickaxe forward, your character will start to mine. It does this by emulating the left mouse click. I did run into an issue when designing the mining controls because simply clicking the left mouse button anytime you swing the controller does not work. This is because in Minecraft, you have to hold down the left click to continue mining. So the controller needs to be constantly reading if you are swinging. If you are, it will continue to mine. However, if you stop mining, so does the game. The final button is the blue one on the far right. It functions the same as the red button, but for right clicks. This allows you to place blocks. Movement is controlled by a keyboard with my left hand. I tried to use a Wii nunchuck, but that limited me to only two buttons. I needed more buttons for things like jumping, switching items, and opening the inventory. So I stuck with a keyboard. Now let's talk gameplay. Simply put, this is the most fun I've ever had playing Minecraft. Traversing through the game with motion controls makes your worlds feel more alive than ever before. The motion inputs are intuitive and feel natural. You will, however, not be winning any PvP tournaments or breaking speedrun records with this controller. A real mouse is still vastly superior. But you know what? Video games are about fun, and that's what this controller is. Pure fun. I started a new world with the simple task of exploration with my new control scheme. I gathered wood, crafted materials, and within no time at all I had built myself a basic shelter. Even the most mundane tasks felt fresh with the motion controls. With my newly acquired tools, I set off on a mining expedition to dive deep into the caves. Every action with motion controls felt great. I've never played Minecraft in VR, but I must imagine it's a lot of fun after playing around with this controller. I even took on the Ender Dragon as a final test, but I haven't played Minecraft since the beta, long before the end was ever released. I had no idea what I was doing, so it might have not been my best first attempt. Regardless, I would always prefer to play this way over a traditional mouse. I will admit, however, that this controller is not perfect. Inventory management can be painfully slow. I find my mouse movements to be far less accurate for menu navigation, and moving items around your inventory or crafting can be tedious. Shift-clicking items helps tremendously in these situations. I will sometimes switch to my actual mouse to move large amounts of items quickly. I also realized during my playtesting that you could not eat as there was no way to hold down the right mouse button. I fixed this by altering the code so that holding down both the green and blue buttons at the same time would allow me to eat. This was a simple fix, but I'm sure I will find more shortcomings as I continue to play. And yes, your arm does get tired over long play sessions from constantly holding it up and swinging it around. If you guys have any further questions regarding the pickaxe controller, leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Overall, I would consider this project incredibly successful. The motion controls are smooth and feel great to play with. This has been by far the most fun I've had with Minecraft since I played the beta back in high school. I can't wait for the next owner to have as much joy with it as I have. Alright, that's going to do it for today's episode. As I mentioned earlier, I will be giving this controller away to a random subscriber. If you would like to win, 
simply subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. I will pick a random subscriber on October 14th as the winner. I am also including my Instagram and Twitter in this pool, so if you want additional chances to win, make sure to follow me on those platforms as well. Links are in the description. Keep in mind that this only works for the PC edition of Minecraft. Either the Bedrock or Java edition will work. As a sneak peek for my next project, I've been given a full-size replica lancer to mod for one of my all-time favorite video games, Gears of War. I try to post regular project updates on my social media accounts, so check me out. As always, if you have a controller idea you'd like to see, leave me a comment below and make sure to subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.